Samsung's S23 Ultra is making waves. Apparently, the South Korean giant is catching up with Apple in both hardware and software. Now, I'm not a tech reviewer, so I'm not gonna comment on that, but I am interested in seeing what's under the hood. Full disclosure, despite selling Samsung parts, we bought our Ultra the old-fashioned way, editorial independence and all. So rest assured, we're not pulling any punches. But before we start ripping Samsung's latest creation apart, let's take a look at some x-rays. The fine folks over at Creative Electron provided us with a peek at the internals of the S23 Ultra. Hold on, those are last year's x-rays for the S22 Ultra. This is the S23 Ultra. They're strikingly similar, both inside and out, but we've heard whispers of a major change to the battery. This might yet be an interesting teardown. As with past Android teardowns, the entry point is through the back panel, but this time I've let the anti-clamp work its magic on the adhesive. Keep your 20 pound jig, Apple, we've got this. Clampy also works beautifully with the eye opener, provided you have enough patience. If folks are struggling with the eye opener, maybe go check out our guide. No offense to iFixit, but it kind of makes the eye opener look like a caveman tool. <laughs> you microwave it and put it down on the edges that you're trying to soften the glue on. <laughs> the S Pen comes out and we're straight into removing the 17 Phillips screws. Okay guys, meet your new home, Fixman. The NFC coil and upper bracket come away as a single piece, and as I'm popping off each connector, I spot perhaps the biggest change in this year's design. Are those some friendly repair instructions? Sure enough, it's a battery pull tab. This is definitely not a stretch release tab, and while repair friendly in theory, it's not the easiest way to remove a battery. Sweaty fingers just slide off, and strong dry hands will still struggle, but many hands make light work. The glue slowly starts to give way. A suction cup is probably still your best bet but at least Samsung seems to agree that battery replacements are feasible. Given this is their first attempt at 2010 iPhone 4 technology, we're hopeful Samsung can give this battery process a bit more polish, like maybe just use less glue. You'll find this pull tab in the S23 and S23 Plus models too. Unlike Apple, Samsung didn't gatekeep its repairable design behind a single model. Looking at you, iPhone 14. Repair-wise, the S23 Ultra is old news from here on out, but let's check out a couple other parts while we're here, starting with that Periscope camera. Opening it up, it seems to be the same 10x optical module from last year's model. The lens assembly slides around on these tiny plastic ball bearings. No step motors here, the module is driven by these electromagnetic coils. Samsung's curved screens are pretty to look at, but a nightmare to remove. Of course, the sheer strength of the glue Samsung uses really doesn't help. Screen repair might be more relevant than ever with some customers reporting under screen bubbles on their brand new phones. We didn't find any defects on our units. Hardware wise, this phone is essentially a spec bump. Even the battery pull tab leaves a lot to be desired. That said, the Galaxy line is moving in a more positive direction than it has since the Galaxy S6, released all the way back in 2015. And while it's not an iPhone 14 level repairability jump, at least they're not using software locks to prevent third-party repair. It's not all sunshine and roses though, Samsung has cracked down on third-party OLED suppliers, a pretty ham-fisted approach that runs counter to increasing popular demand for more repairable devices and a circular economy. The S23 itself earns a 4 out of 10 on the repairability scale with an additional 2 points available if and when they provide parts and manuals. We'll keep an eye on anti-competitive practices, but in a strict design sense, the Galaxy line is trending positive. Maybe 2024 will bring us better pull tabs, but even if not, one thing is certain. Right to repair is making gains, and the fact that there's a pull tab in here at all is evidence of that brighter future. 